I'm David. Yesterday I lost everything. My wife, my house and my job. I didn't know where my life was going. And then I talked to my old high school buddy Steve. He convinced me to move out to Fort McMurray. Armed with a two-year plan, I drove out to the MAC. It was not what I expected. What happened? Uh, it's complicated. Complicated? I just packed everything I own, okay, which granted isn't much, and I crammed it into my little truck, and I drove over 5,000 kilometers, okay? That's three provinces. And the, and the one thing that kept me on the road, that, that kept me reassuring myself that I was making the right choice, was that I knew I had a place to live once I got here. That place! So, so please, please try and explain to me what happened, okay? <laughs> Remember when I told you that the landlord gave me that sweet deal on rent? Yeah? I'd help her out. She'd help me out. Oh, you were sleeping with the landlady! Well, don't make it sound all sketchy. I mean, what's the problem with that anyways? I mean, I get cheap rent. She gets to ride the light. I hit wh whatever. Just please get to the point. Anyways, I forgot today's rent day. And? Well, she lets herself in. Of course, I'm entertaining another guest. You were sleeping with someone else? Well, it's not like we were exclusive or anything. Okay, it was just... rent. Anyways, she comes in, she's all mad, starts throwing shit around, a bottle of Jagger breaks on the space heater, and the next thing I know... Oh, what are we gonna do now? Where are we gonna live? No worries, buddy. My friend has a great two-bed available. It's a hell of a lot closer to the bar, so do me a favor, grab your bags, and follow me. This is not a two-bedroom apartment. This is a room with two beds in it. My old cubicle was bigger than this. Ugh, you always focus on the negative. Okay, did you even notice that big screen TV? Besides, we're only sleeping here, what else do you need? A little privacy would be nice. Uh, hello? Privacy curtain? Problem solved. Hardly. And, and why does this block the TV from this bed? Well, obviously the apartment was designed Stop to- Stop calling this an apartment. <sighs> Whatever. Look, due to your current financial situation, I figured you'd want to stay on that side because it's cheaper. I don't really have a choice. Listen, it's only temporary. Okay, tomorrow we're going to go get you a sweet job and you're going to have your own place in no time. I can't wait. And let's go get something to eat. You hungry? Actually, yeah, I'm starving. Awesome. You're going to love this place. It'll be your second home. This place is awesome. The drinks are cold, the food is great, and the waitresses are... Out of my league. Don't worry about it, they all have boyfriends anyways. Followed them to Fort Mac like lost puppies. God, I love puppies. Hey, Margo. This is David, my buddy. Just moved here from Ontario. Nice to meet you. Another gypsy for the caravan, huh? Margo here is a pureblood. Plymouth Rock and all that. Born and reared here, right? Or did that happen in Cancun? And people wonder why you're still single. Someone's asking if I'm single? So you're looking for work? Yeah, I'm heading up to North Sands tomorrow, but I have zero experience in mining. Uh, do you have any ideas what I should apply for? Uh, well, you got your heavy equipment operators. <laughs> Big money. <laughs> Becky! Well, what can you do? Uh, I've been a supervisor for 13 years. Supervisor of what? Uh, telemarketing call center. That's not gonna help you. I guess you could be a safety technician. Hell no. You do not want that job. Why not? Uh, because those are the safety techs. I told him to go for the operator's job. Hmm. Do you have a criminal record? What? No. Really? No drinking and driving? I would never. Drugs? Do I look like I do drugs? You never know. No pot, no coke, no speed. No. Crank, Mexican mud. Uh, okay, now you're just making those up. Well, aren't you a breath of fresh air? <laughs> David here is about as straight and square as they come. He'll do fine. Well, you might get it. Have you ever driven heavy equipment? I've never even driven a pickup. Uh, just lie. Just tell them you grew up on a farm or some shit. They'll never know. Plus, they'll train you. Jesus. Becky! 
huge money. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dave. Uh, it's uh, David, actually. Okay. Well... David, why don't you tell me where you see yourself at North Sands Energy? We currently have a lot of positions open, and we can have the application process started right away. We're looking for safety technicians. Right, right. Well, well, well I was thinking more along the lines of uh, heavy equipment driver. You know, driving the big rigs. Well, I, I grew up driving big truck on a farm. You know, harvesting and stuff. That's a very important position here, so it's a much more thorough process. You'll have to give me a moment. And the polygraph waiver. Uh, pol polygraph? No, no, uh, this, this isn't all necessary, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there he is. Are you rich HEO yet or what? No. Well, did you get anything? Uh, I. Hey, David, come over! We have zucchini sticks! <laughs> <laughs> sure! Laugh! Yeah. Why not? I warned you! She pulled out the stack, and and, and the urine samples had uh, two million! I, I, I just panicked. Bro, it's all right. You're employed in the oil sands. Life is good. But why doesn't it feel good? I know what you need. You need to go have a drink with your new co-workers. No, no, what I need is to go to sleep. Good idea, bro. Big day tomorrow. First day as a safety tech. Well, that's David from the bar. You remember? I told you about him. He's the safety tech. Well, welcome to Fort McMurray. Oh. <sighs> what have I done? <laughs> 